English concertina for beginners number 10. Didn't think we'd get this far. Okay, I thought it would be fun today to, uh, to have a go at giving you some um, <clears throat> practice exercises to develop your listening skills. Um, it, you probably have noticed that I haven't mentioned reading music anywhere in any of this and that's because I think for me learning to, to hear the tunes first and then maybe later learning how they're written down is a more natural way of doing things. That's how children learn a language isn't it? They learn from their friends and mother and father and it's only later that they learn to write it down. So I think developing listening skills very important. So we're going to work with the key of G. <coughs> Please remember some of the basics you know, uh, how to hold the box left hand end of the box on, on the leg there so that the bellows are free to move. Key of G. No, yes, key of G. Let's work in G. Let's work in G. There's the G. It was a bit fast, wasn't it? And if you remember, the key of G has that F sharp in it at the top there so that we only have that semitone at the top. And there's the F sharp. It's using the ring finger on the outer row there, just outside the F, to go up to the G. Okay, so get yourself familiar with that scale, key of G, up and down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you might be able to hear my leg tap or something like that, but I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to play something, just a tiny little phrase, and you, in time, with the counting, play it back and we'll see how far we can get. So it should go something like this. So, hit, sorry. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Now you play. Ma, da, 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 da. Now you try. La, da, 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Okay, you got the idea. That's how I plan to do it. And of course, it's down here, isn't it? Somewhere about here, probably. And if you rewind, you can have another go at the exercise, right? I was using the first three notes of the G scale. That's all. Just those three notes. Let's have another go. Here we go. Here we go. Two, two, three, four. La da 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 La da 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 di da da da. La da da di da da da. La di da 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 da. I'll stop singing. Okay, as I say, find the rewind button, take it that way, and have another go at it if you find it difficult. It's all good for your ear, and what I'm hoping that is that you'll begin to recognise some things. We saw the three blind mice in there. Yeah, we saw that. We saw the, uh, she all run after the farmer's wife. We saw that jump there. Okay, we saw the coming down the scale, a bit like church bells. 
Yeah, when you hear a church bell peal, quite often you hear that. Here are some other things to think of. The, the first note of the scale and the last note of the scale, in this case G and G, sound like this. How do you recognise that? Because it's the first two notes in Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Okay, first two notes of Somewhere Over the Rainbow are an octave apart. Okay, so I'm sorry about all the mistakes. Um, so those first two notes octave apart. We've seen ah East Enders. Yeah, have a go at that. That's easy. First five notes at the beginning of the scale. It's the length of hours. Something like that, isn't it? And then it repeats. Okay, so if you're familiar with the, the English soap uh, TV program called EastEnders, the, that's the beginning of the theme music. And it helps you learn that when you hear that, you've got the first five notes in the scale. La da 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 da. Da. That's going up to the sixth note in the scale. Very useful to be able to remember that and try it out in other circumstances. Uh, a few years ago, if you're an English viewer, there was a very famous uh, uh, detective series called Van der Valk, I think it was called. Uh, and the theme music for that is the last five, four notes in the scale. in G, starting on the D there, that's the fifth note in the scale, la da da dum. Okay, so if you hear that, you're talking about D, E, F sharp, G, the last four notes in the scale, okay? Let's go to C, let's change our key. And let's finish this session by doing the same exercise but in this new key signature. Okay, we're in the key of C now, so here we go, two, two, three, four. Hand end of the box. Do, do, do. E, da, 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 da. Okay, and one final one. Let's try this. La, di, da, 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 da. Whoops, sorry, I made a mistake. I wanted to go up to the C there. Okay, let's call it a day. So remember, you've got uh, your octave, that's the first two notes of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. It would be helpful if I could play it, wouldn't it? Somewhere Over the Rainbow. You've got that. You've got the beginning of EastEnders, now we're in the key of C here. And the old Van der Valk. Okay, that's all we've got time for. Have fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.